Central bankers crave credibility. Without it, they cannot influence the bond market. In the past, the bankers earned this respect by killing off inflation to protect the integrity of their currency. Not in Japan. There, the Bank of Japan has the opposite dilemma. The yen, if anything, is way too popular as a safe haven. A strong yen has tended to increase deflationary pressures and stifle economic growth, not to mention hurting key export industries. The BOJ is a central bank trying its best to make the yen a bad choice for investors. And boy, has it tried using multiple policy tools to disappoint and encourage more inflation. That worked for a while, at least. The yen fell and inflation picked up. The topic share index more than doubled. Now, unfortunately for the BOJ, inflation expectations started to reverse last year. Then, in January, it joined other central banks in applying a negative interest rate policy. This made holding yen in banks positively costly. That didn't work. The yen stayed more or less put. Now, Wednesday came the latest pronouncement, yield curve control, aiming to push up long bond yields relative to short-term interest rates. In the hope of helping banks who were hurt by the negative interest rates, the BOJ would widen the positive spread between short and long-term yields. Now, most banks make their money on arbitraging cheap depositor money and lending it out long-term at higher rates. A steeper curve has led to better performance of Japanese bank shares. That sector has outrun the broader market when the curve has steepened in recent years. Wednesday was no exception, as bank shares were the best performers. Foreign exchange traders, though, didn't care much. They left the yen pretty much unchanged after a brief dip. Indeed, some money managers think the BOJ has so many targets, inflation, currency, negative interest rates, and yield curve shape, that it's distracting. The yen is more likely to drift higher under such confusion. So yes, the BOJ deserved plaudits for its creativity in trying to curtail Japan's deflation problem, but this latest policy effort looks more likely to complicate things.